Hi, everybody. So today is Saturday. That means it's time for family movie night. And today we're finishing off my Barbie month that I've been doing. And this is my last Barbie movie review for at least a long time till they make more. And uh, we're talking about Barbie the movie, the live action feature film. And if you want to hear more of my thoughts on Barbie and Oppenheimer, I did a whole podcast with Molly about it, both movies right after they came out where we did deep dive into both films. I really thought that was an excellent discussion. Uh, but here we're talking about Barbie the movie. And I have to say, I, I, I never in a million years thought that this movie would end up as an Oscars favorite, getting all these nominations and, uh, and everything. I just did not see that coming, but I was very excited for it because I have been such a Barbie fan and I enjoyed uh, most of the animated films. And uh, so I... I really was pretty sure that I would enjoy it. And I did end up enjoying it. I think the movie's like a little bit messy and it, and it, and it probably tries to tackle like one too many ideas uh, in the screenplay, but I would take like an ambitious mainstream blockbuster film, especially lately, where most of them had disappointed me. I would take one that like airs on the side of being a little over ambitious and maybe telling a little too much or trying to do too much over what we kind of normally get that's very bland and safe. And and especially for a movie about such an iconic character as Barbie, this was anything but safe. And I really appreciate that. And I think that the movie, I've heard some people say that, oh, it shouldn't have started out with the 2001 homage at the beginning and the smashing of the baby dolls and everything. But I think that was actually really important to the movie because it established tone and it let people know, okay, this is going to be a little bit different. This is not going to be the traditional storytelling that you might expect from a Barbie movie. And uh, so I think I think it was actually quite important to have that scene. And, you know, it's interesting because when, when the movie came out, there were a lot of pundits who were like, it's woke, you know, it's anti-man. But I think that's like a total misread on the movie. Uh, really, from almost the very beginning, the, the story is about... Uh, Barbie coming to understand like who she is as a, as a person and having value, but also Ken coming to understand who he is and that he is worth more than just being an accessory to Barbie, which is starts out at the beginning. And yeah, he like dabbles in patriarchy in a very silly way. That's very funny, but, but it's, but the end of the story is that he realizes that it's, but the end of the story is he realizes that patriarchy isn't good, that it's not all it's cracked up to be, and not doesn't provide the meaning that he thinks it's going to at the you know when he stumbles upon it. And by the end, Barbie tells him, apologizes to him for not valuing him enough and not treating him well enough, and that he deserves to be happy. So it's it's all about how we have value as intrinsic human beings. I think I owe you an apology. Huh? I'm really sorry I took you for granted. Oh. <laughs> Not every night had to be girls' night. And I think, if anything, the movie is as tough on sort of lazy feminism of, like, lazy girl power, lazy, like, a lot of times corporatized girl power, uh, that you know they that they even have these you know Mattel office the Will Ferrell character and everything like that they think that what they're doing is so like so great but really it's all about you know making money and it's not actually about like truly empowering women and uh, and so once uh, they they kind of dig beneath that and uh, Barbie becomes this more like Barbie becomes this real woman that. Uh, is valued for who she is and it starts out I mean that's the whole point of the America Ferrer monologue that she gives about how hard it is to be a woman uh, that that it, that's flying in the face of all this sort of easy feminism that's used to kind of placate women but not actually help us in our every day-to-day -day lives uh, not provide us any real like real power or real uh, value to our lives. It just makes us feel worse because we're not these like these 
empowered, perfect women that we see, uh, you know, presented to us. It's like both are bad. The, the, uh, the one note, uh, domesticated, perfect woman that maybe people saw Barbie as at the beginning of the movie, but also the, the, the kind of equally one note, perfect empowered feminist woman like both of those are a lie and both of those are kind of just tools to make women feel bad and that's the main message of the movie impossible to be a woman you are so beautiful and so smart and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough is that and that's why they have that whole montage at the end of showing mothers and daughters and and their just value as just being who they are and uh, and that's what uh, America Ferrer's character learns that she has value that her drawings aren't just stupid stupid drawings that they that they actually do matter and that they have value and that just she is a human doing nothing has value and uh, and I think that that's the main the main message of Barbie and it also just is such a fun movie I mean it's it's very funny it's very colorful it's very bright it's got such a fun world that they've made I I love Barbie world and and the whole idea of beach and you know just everything like that was very inventive and creative I love that they made it a musical. Of course, I'm just Ken or Ryan Gosling crushing it. And that, that whole sequence was so fun. I'm just Ken, where I see love, she sees a friend. What will it take for her to see the man? I think a lot more people enjoyed Barbie than they expected to because it, it just kind of has something for everything. You know, it's got the humor, it's got some social commentary. So it's like has something to say and discuss and you can talk about it. But uh, but it's also very sweet and endearing. And Barbie becomes a character that you can really root for. Uh, that Especially like at the beginning when she's called a fascist, you know, by the young woman and she starts to cry and you just, you feel for Barbie. She hasn't done anything. She hasn't done anything but like be the way that she was designed to be. And, uh, and so, you know, you feel for her and, uh, and for, for what she's going through, but then she takes that experience and, and, and becomes a better person from it. And so, you know, that all really works. And, uh, and it was just creative and exciting and different. And uh, one of the most, I think, I think it was one of the most ambitious mainstream certainly ip related films that we will ever get or that we have gotten and uh, i admire warner brothers and i admire uh, mattel for letting uh, letting this movie be made the way that it was made and uh, and so yeah just really admire it the costumes super great jacko duran did an incredible job recreating so many iconic barbie looks and, uh, and then the unique looks for the movie. Uh, of course, there were tons of Easter eggs for Barbie fans, something like Alan, uh, Midge, the pregnant Barbie, and uh, things like that. A lot of fun for Barbie fans. And of course, at the beginning, you see the iconic uh, Barbie in the swimsuit. It was the first Barbie to ever be released. So just a lot of, of really fun, uh, fun moments for Barbie fans. Of course, we get Ruth Handler, the inventor of the Barbie, the creator of the Barbie. And I love Rhea Perlman in that role. She's very endearing and sweet. And I just think it's a really enjoyable little movie. I, I, I don't know if I would have nominated it for Best Picture, but hey, it wasn't the best year as far as movies go last year. So, so it was certainly an iconic movie for the year and very entertaining. Uh, so let me know what you think of Barbie the movie. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section or on Twitter. And uh, make sure you check out my playlist with all of my Barbie reviews. I would really appreciate it. And, uh, and I'm going to be having a Barbie movie ranking coming up uh, next week. So look forward to that. And uh, I just enjoyed covering these Barbie movies over the years so much. And uh, so let me know what some of your favorites are and what you, again, what you think of this. And uh, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And uh, make sure to check out the Hallmarkies podcast, everything going on over there. And uh, check out the Patreon group and the merch store. I'd really appreciate it. And I uh, will talk to y'all later. Bye.